Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall learn the concepts of mass and weight related to GPSTR exam 2022. So before moving to the video, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here related to GPSTR exam which will also be useful for TET, central TET exams also. We here mainly take up mathematics and science concepts. Okay. So come let's move to the topic now. Simultaneously we will check out the difference between mass and weight and hence we can cover up this. In case of mass, the mass of a body is the quantity of matter contained right it's about the quantity how much it is it says about but in case of weight it is the force with which the earth attracts the body okay weight is nothing but the force with which the earth attracts the body towards it and mass is a scalar quantity weight is a vector quantity it says about the direction in which the earth attracts whether it is downward or upward so it is a vector quantity weight is a vector quantity mass is a scalar quantity SI unit of mass is kg kilogram okay SI unit of weight is Newton and mass of an object can be measured in beam balance and also using physical balance whereas weight of an object is measured using spring balance in case of Newton if you want to measure and even if it is um, in case of kg force we use physical balance to weight to know the weight of an object to measure the weight of an object and next mass is constant when we move from place to place of an object but in case of weight it varies from place to place since the value of g gravity g also varies from place to place it affects the weight of an object hence weight of an object varies from place to place in general mass is represented by letter m whereas the expression for weight is equal to m into g the product of mass and gravity is called as weight it is uh, in case of mass it is measured in physical balance or beam balance because the value of g is same on both the pans in case of physical balance if you take it will have two pans and g value will be same on both the pans and hence it is constant but in case of weight of an object we, along with mass we multiply the weight of an object and it changes from place to place in case of direction of the weight it is downward or towards the center of the earth and 1 kgf is equal to 9.8 newton so these are the main points related to mass and weight of an object next on moving to the concept weightlessness the weight of the body is measured by the reaction of the surface which supports the body the absence of the reaction on the body produces weightlessness if you feel the absence of the reaction force of the um, object we feel weightlessness let us check out with the few examples okay in case of a lift we feel weightlessness let us see how it is if a person is standing on the floor of the stationary lift it means if the lift is not moving he presses the floor means his feet this person's feet press the floor with the force equal to his weight means if he is 50 kg he is applying 50 kg kg force on the floor right then there exists an equal and opposite reaction of the floor of the lift on the person so this equal and opposite force of the lift on the person or the floor on the person makes the person to feel his 
body weight that gives the sensation of weight clear but when the lift starts moving downward if it starts moving downward with an acceleration the reaction on the person because this lifts reaction on the person becomes less because the uh, along with the person lift also starts moving downward so the reaction on the person becomes less hence he feel his weight to be less when the lift uh, freely falls it falls freely both the person and the lift are moving downward this lift is also moving the person is also moving downward with equal acceleration a is the same for both the case both for lift as well as the person as a result there is no reaction on the person hence he feel weightlessness you also might have experienced this you are ready on on the lift to move downward all of sudden you just feel the weightlessness till you reach the ground floor right so clear the concept of weightlessness so in the exam if it is asked you know you to explain all this and waste your time actually you can hold on the key points okay in case of a lift you can just give an example if the lift is stationary both the person and the lift floor of the lift experiences equal and opposite reaction but in case of a moving lift if they if the lift move downward the reaction force on the person becomes less hence he feels weightlessness okay you can give this example you hold on to this keywords as they move downward both person and lift moves with the same acceleration and hence force on the person becomes less hence they feel the weightlessness even in case of astronauts the astronauts they feel weightlessness on orbiting around the earth when they are in the spacecraft okay why it is so when the spacecraft revolves around the earth if this is the earth the spacecraft will have a particular orbit to revolve around the earth so both the astronaut here if the spacecraft is here inside that the astronaut will be and both the astronaut and the spacecraft move with equal speed and equal acceleration right then the earth's gravitational pull is completely it is used to provide the necessary centripetal force what is centripetal force which is acting towards the center isn't it so this centripetal force is required to take control of the orbital motion hence there is no reaction on the astronaut due to the surface of the spacecraft so there is no reaction on the astronaut due to the surface of the spacecraft hence he or she the astronaut will feel weightlessness so in the exam if at all they ask about mass and weight of an object uh, remember about the si unit and the main concept about the quantity and the force of attraction of the earth about the weight and in case of weightlessness the reasons give reasons for the following they may ask okay so keep preparing for the exams don't panic as few were telling to complete the portions in time so that it will be helpful i'll try to complete the portions so you don't um, get panic actually what relax and whatever material you have be thorough with that and there is time still you can cover up the portions okay so if you like a video please give a thumbs up so if you like the video actually you can express it then only we will come to know that whether you are benefiting from the 
videos okay otherwise just in order to complete the portions if we move in a hurry it's of no use right otherwise we can go slowly explaining all the concepts it will be benefiting for even this aspirants preparing for tet also okay thank you